Um, hello, this is my first YouTube video, and to start off, I'd like to say that I have noticed a pattern, and that pattern is that every great YouTube channel starts with a Minecraft video. And so today, I am here to talk about a certain problem that has uh, existed in computer craft for a number of years and uh, I'd like to demonstrate this problem so here we have a turtle this is just a regular turtle that has a program called walk in circle it's pretty straightforward it goes forward by two turns right uh, goes uh, two forward, turns right, and you know, two forward, two, and it just, it goes around in a circle. Uh, so when I launch this program, I execute this program, uh, we can see that it does what it's supposed to do, which is awesome. But now let's say that I, the player, go off over in that direction or, you know, in any one of these directions by a thousand blocks or something, then the chunks that I am within right now will be unloaded. So in order to simulate, I'm going to uh, simulate uh, basically a chunk unload by just turning off the computer. This is what would, I, what would happen if I went away or if I logged out of the game. The computer stops and when I come back, this is how, uh, uh, this is uh, what happens. The, the turtle turns on, but the program has stopped. Um, so what uh, people do in this situation is they create a startup program, uh, like so. So anytime this uh, computer, or this rather this turtle, anytime it boots, it will uh, automatically launch the walk and circle program. Um, so allow me to demonstrate this. I will turn off the computer and when I uh, turn it on, it turns on the computer. Now uh, this is pretty cool. Um, in a lot of situations this is enough, but for uh, some programs there's, um, and especially for turtles, there's this uh, slight uh, complication. That is, if I turn it off and I turn it back on, <laughs> the program does this. This is uh, a problem in computer craft that is, well, the whole idea is called state persistence. And computer craft turtles do not have this state or, you know, uh, the state of a program uh, does not persist through the uh, the life cycle of a program. So I'm just going to turn this guy off right here. And this is a problem that has been discussed for quite a long time. Uh, two years ago, yes, two years ago, uh, there have been some posts. Uh, people have been asking, you know, like, what do we do about this? You know, there's this problem, and um, there really is, isn't a solution to this. And so here is a guy called Lupus. I think he is one of the contributors to uh, CC Tweaked, which is basically uh, a port of computer craft. And he suggested uh, to write stateful programs. So basically, it's not state persistent per se, um, but it, it saves the state. Um, and he recommends using a checkpoint um, and this API called uh, Llama. And here's the code for the Llama. It looks uh, somewhat difficult and um, I guess it kind of is. Uh, <laughs> It's really cool. He uses the the G. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, but I've I've used this uh, llama 
to create a stateful program uh, right, right here. And I'll just quickly show the code. Uh, this, this is it. Um, basically, it's, it's difficult to describe. Uh, in order for the turtle to be uh, stateful, it needs to understand where it is. And for that, I am using a GPS system. If you do not know what a GPS is in Computercraft, basically it's um, a lot of math stuff. Uh, it's it's uh, the math term is triangulation. So basically, um, each computer uh, checks its position and based off of its position and relative to the computer, uh, it does smart things and it can tell the computer where it is. Uh, of course, relative to this GPS constellation. Uh, to set one of these up, uh, here is the documentation, uh, tweaked CC guide GPS setup. Um, you make a compute, uh, you put computers uh, like this and you put some modems on it. You can use ender mod modems, which basically have limitless range. Uh, so all you ever need is, for example, one constellation, and for example, the overworld and the spawn chunks. Um, and this could be like, um, basically it, it can be like a global GPS for, for everybody to use. Um, and you could set the absolute position, um, but you can also use these regular modems and you know, uh, these have a smaller range, so you can have sort of um, clusters that are away from the main uh, programs or turtles. Um, and yeah, this is pretty easy to set up, actually. <laughs> it's much simpler than it looks. Uh, you just go into each one of these uh, computers, edit startup, and you put this in with the relative or the absolute position and positioning. Uh, like so. Uh, and I would like to demonstrate this program which uses the GPS and the stateful uh, aspect. So basically it writes the position into a file on the operating system of the turtle. Uh, so I will demonstrate how that looks. I turn it on and uh, it goes around in a circle. And now if I turn this off, it stops, but unlike, unlike this turtle, it remembers where it was because the position was saved. Um, that, that's one of the problems I wanted to talk about with the stateful program. I didn't think it would appear so quickly. Uh, but basically, the positioning of the turtle gets messed up. Um, so I'd like to demonstrate this more in detail um, just to show you what's happening. If I turn on this computer and I let it run, um, then it does strange things. Um, that, had, that did not happen during testing. Um, well, basically what happens is I can uh, sort of stop this computer in a frame and try to catch it. Oh, right here. Right now this computer is on two blocks. It's on this grass block and it is on this grass block. But the positioning is saved on this block, but the computer is on this block. So if I exit out of the world and uh, give this a second, the, we should see that the, the turtle goes forward by one block. Um, at least that's the theory and that's what was happening in testing. There it goes. It was on this block. It still thinks it's on this block, but in reality is it's on this block. So uh, state persistence does not really, it, 
it just does not uh, work in computer craft. Open computers um, had state persistence. However, open computers has not been updated for uh, quite a few versions. So the solution to this, or well, it's not a solution, it's a workaround, um, is to scrap the idea of state in a program. And also, computer craft is not um, bad. You can get around things without having um, all this uh, all this stuff. Um, some programs are simple, but some programs require um, a bit more complexity. Sometimes you want the programs to go around. And basically, the solution that I propose is making stateless programs. So programs that uh, do not depend upon uh, the computer to have an internal state, but basically um, it uses the outside world to sort of understand its um, uh, what it's supposed to do. Um, so here I have written another program, which is basically the same. It's, it's almost exactly the same program, but it doesn't uh, write the state into a file. It doesn't uh, memorize the state. Um, it boots up. It has an absolute starting position. It adds relative positions to the absolute position. It has this because it breaks without that. I don't know why. Um, that's just how it is. And then we calibrate the facing value um, with a little bit of logic. And then with some other logic, we set checkpoints, uh, basically. And when the turtle has reached a certain checkpoint and um, a certain condition is met or not met, then it will do a set of instructions. Um, so if I boot this up, it waits two seconds, it calibrates its facing position, and it starts to walk around. Um, and this, unlike uh, the stateful program, like I have said, this does not know, um, well, it, it, it sort of is aware, um, it just, it hasn't memorized where it is. Um, but I'd like to demonstrate uh, the, that this program will always work, at least always as I have tested it. If I try to stop it right here, it's on both at this block and this block. I exit out of the world, wait a few moments, uh, re-enter the world. And here it is. It recalibrates and it goes back to doing its thing. Now, <laughs> this uh, this works. This uh, It's a bit more complicated to write because um, you have to use vectors. Well, you don't have to use vectors, but vectors make things so much simpler. Um, for example, uh, you can compare two vectors and you can add them together. Um, so, uh, you, you could, uh, it's, it's not that bad, and if you could make an API or someone can make an API for movement, then this is uh, doable. Uh, when I was 12 years old or 16 or something and I wanted to play around with computer craft, I was always scared of vectors and I didn't really understand how they work. Um, and that's, I guess that was a bit of a problem, but you know, after time I, I learned and well, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, it can be learned, and if you have the right mindset, um, and you have the right ideas, um, you can definitely make this work out. Um, and this program may seem very simple right here, and you may argue that this requires a more... Uh, advanced uh, or a uh, more advanced or sophisticated program would have more difficult instructions than this and 
that is true, but even with this, you can do some pretty advanced things. For example, uh, this with this setup, uh, you could have this turtle replacing the floor. And if uh, you could, for example, have it replace the floor in this entire chunk, and if for some reason it would stop, it could resume and recalibrate and go back to it. And this entire chunk could also be farmland. Um, so basically, uh, to make this a little easier to uh, think about, uh, each one of these andesite uh, blocks could be a piece of wheat. And um, what this turtle would do is it would detect if this wheat has grown. And if it has, um, then it would just replant it. And, you know, it would never stop. And you would never have to worry about um, things unloading. Um, so I guess this is the solution. Um, thank you for making it to this, uh, to the end of the video. Uh, goodbye.